Uh, so I'm Jan Hendrik Basel from from Bloemfontein. Played in Pretoria for the last four years, and yeah, I think it's a massive opportunity. I think it's growing up as a kid. It's to play for the box. Everything you do, everything you work for. So yeah, I'm very excited, and yeah, it's a big big opportunity for me. Hendrik, why is uh, make your debut when you start when you went to school? Yeah, I think it's. I think anyway, we make a debut. It's special. Um, I think it's nice to make my debut in Bloom in front of my parents and family. Yeah, so I think it's, yeah, it couldn't play out any better. I mean, um, does it add a bit of response to the fact that your big friend Andre Hu, that you've been pals with since grade five, gone very similar routes, and you're going to make the debuts tomorrow together at the same stadium? Yeah, I think. Um, like playing a test, your first test, making a debut is special. Um, I think working out that way it is it's just add on to it. Um, yeah, so I'm excited to play again with him after a few years. And then let's talk us through the differences of experience through school rugby, junior professional rugby, and professional rugby in particular. Because I mean, I'm reminded that Gray P is here this weekend. One of the tries is put against Gray, he picked up the ball, ran through the entire team. Um, just talk us through what, what the differences you've experienced when you've moved up the levels in rugby. <laughs> I think it obviously get difficult, difficulter. Um, yeah, it's more difficult. Um, yeah, there's more better defensive structures. I think team, teams are more set out. Yeah, um, don't do that often anymore. So yeah, I think from school, it's just growing. Um, you year after year, you grow. You meet new coaches. They help you develop your game. So yeah, I think just developing your game every year and just keeping up with the trends. And how difficult has it been for you to settle in specific positions? Because when you were at school, you played. I mean, I think under sixteen, you played pretty much through the front row and in, in, in the forwards. But in the senior level, how difficult has it been for you to nail down a particular position? Um, yeah, I think at school it's not that difficult to move around. Um, after school, played proper, but played hooker, played, played proper again. Um, yeah, I think it's just working hard. It's obviously got two jobs to focus on. I think the weekend is I play prop, so I focus on that, and yeah, hopefully it goes well. Yeah, and Hendrik, um, I remember the interview I did with you right at the beginning of the you got to the Bulls. You spoke about how after a game against the Shock, Thomas the Toy came up to you, gave you a bunch of pointers after you played against him in the scrum. Um, just what have you learned since then, and how ironic is it to start in the front row with him? Yeah, I think it's obviously special. Um, yeah, I think it's learning from players around you. It's obviously having healthy competition, learning from Ox what to do, Coach Don helping me, scrum against France, Vincent, Trevor. I think all the guys, it's a great culture in the group, willing to help guys. It's not. I'm going to take this spot and it's my spot. It's the guys around. Everybody wants everybody to do well. So it's really, it's a good su supportive thing and everybody buys in to the team that's selected on the weekend to help them do good. Can I ask you this question? In the modern day era or around 2024, is it expected of a, of, 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 of a prop just to do, do the, exactly that, just that role, just scrum? Or nowadays, are you guys like a local marks? Must you be a feature? Must you be able to steal balls and stuff like that? Is that you're thinking at national level? Um, I think every player needs to have a work rate. Um, so it's not just the scrums, the game goes on from there. Um, it's line outs, it's scrums, it's defending. Um, yeah, I think everybody brings their own aspect. Um, so it's not, I don't think there's a, there's certain boxes you need to stick, but I don't think everybody needs to do the same thing. You must bring your, your part of your game. And Andrew, just, um, you spoke now about the scrumming against all the other props in that. Um, we saw on Chasing the Sun, I'm sure you also watched it, um, about Don's legendary scrum decisions. Now that you've experienced them, how, how, do, how do they write? No, I think they're pretty much explained well. Um, I don't think it's they're overreacting on how they are. Um, no, I think you said something in the week about guys not playing, the forwards, they play the match on Wednesday. Any other questions about Afrikaans? Um, can I say for, can we finish English? Are we done with English, guys? I've got a few. Just, okay, let's do English. Um, I mean, let's talk us through your path, Andre, in particular. I remember watching you two at Cleveland in 2013, Cleveland, the feast they didn't have 
the best of weeks. But one coach actually said that the moment these kids can they can start clicking, um, we'll see a different version of them. And that was ten years ago. Um, just talk us through that part with under Hugo in particular because you played with them to every eight team and at first team. Yeah, I think he started off as as flank as well, and I played prop and moved to lock a bit, and he moved to the front row to Uka. And yeah, I was still moving around between lock and prop, and yeah, but I think it's yeah, it's really special. We played under 13 Kremlin week together, played under 14, under 15 together, under 16 Grand Como, under 17 or under 18 Craven week together. We had the privilege to play junior box together, and so yeah, it was just yeah, it obviously played out well for us. Um, you know, good mates, experienced a lot of things together, so yeah, I think making our debut together is also special. I just wanted to know, um, coming from the level that you are into this you know, higher level now, the different crowds, how does that impact your game and how do you maintain your, um, your momentum within these two spaces? Um, so it's obviously playing your C and from, I don't know, is that what you mean? Going from Curry Cup, yes, yes. going into the URC, I think, um, yeah, I don't have the privilege to play Super Rugby. So going from Curry Cup, it's just that going off of the Curry Cup into a URC season, it's just new standards, it's internationally, there's different aspects of the game. And I think that training this week is the last four weeks, it's just been catching up and developing and everything happens a bit quicker. There's more detail on certain stuff and yeah, just staying, doing your part and just growing in your position. If somebody tell you something, you take it in and you go and just staying up with the players around you. Kanye, just want to double check your knee. 